Welcome back. Time for some technical support. CNBC Pro out with a new screener today. Overbought stocks that could be due for a pullback following this market, this big market week we've had. And here to analyze some of those names is Jay Woods, Chief Global Strategy at Freedom Capital Markets. Jay, let's start off with Boeing. Yeah, let's start off with Boeing. We're talking about stocks that are overbought. Okay. How do we measure overbought, oversold? We look at the relative strength index. An RSI reading of under 30 uh, means the stock is oversold, and it, it's due to pause going down and possibly rally. A stock of an RSI over 70, and in this case, Boeing, is at 92, which is a historic level for Boeing, mm -hmm. means it's overbought. The stock has gone up over 50% in seven weeks since that October 27th low. And then if you look at the price action, I wanted to back it out over five years to give you an idea of what we're seeing in Boeing. Now, once again, my lines are a little wonky when I use this, and I apologize. But this level where we're coming into is around 270, 280. Um, we've made a okay. full circle back, but seeing that we've gone up so far so fast like a rocket ship, we want to see Boeing take off like an airliner, and it's going to probably pull back. So if you're looking to add is, it to this, is there a period portfolio? of time it has to stay up there to be oversold? No, or it's, if it uh, just gets there, it's oversold. It, and that's it. It, yeah, in this case, over overbought, and yes, overbought, it, you sorry, know, once yeah. it's there, it just tells you that right. it's it's getting tired. Overbought doesn't mean it has to reverse. It's just going to slow down the pace okay. of the rally. And in this case, I wouldn't add to this portfolio. I'd wait for a pullback, you know, somewhere uh, around 250, 240, I think would be a good place to buy Boeing. But uh, it's got a lot of work to do. I wouldn't add to it at this point. Okay, let's move on from plain builders to home builders. DR Horton. Well, home builders I like. Home builders have been one of the best acting sectors this year. Who knew? With mortgage rates, 8%, now back down to 7 But DH Horton, again, Historical levels on the RSI. The stock has made a tremendous move. Again, 50% in seven weeks. These are not normal. You get a nosebleed when you look up at these charts. So we've seen a 50% move here. Mm -hmm. The stock, though, I love. The setup is phenomenal. If you go back three years, we made back all of 2022 losses during 2023 and then broke above. And this is what we call a cup and handle. Uh, we have a nice rounded bottom and then a breakout, a retest of that level. And all these lines are making it a little confusing. But what I want to focus on right now is the stock is at all-time highs. I love that. But given the run, it's due for a pause, a possible pullback. I would buy this on weakness, a 5 to 10% pullback. But the fundamentals have been good. They've really the survived the cycle here. 7 8% mortgages, and the home builders have done well. Yes, and with the recency bias, people seeing 8%, now it's 7%. Woo. They're like, oh, now we got to run it's out It's a bargain. Go. Exactly. exactly. Right, we got to move on. Let's look at Royal Caribbean. Royal Caribbean, this is a stock that, uh, you know, it's kind of gone up like the Titanic. And what Ooh, happens? Don't say that. Uh, no, 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 no. Take I that know. back. It's, okay, I'm sorry. The, the jury will disregard. Here. All right. We strike that from the record. But yeah, go ahead. what I like about it, it has made back all of its losses going back to, yeah. to COVID. And if we were to go back another year or two, you see at 130 uh, at this level, we're at about 120 right now. This stock is in no man's land. I would probably stay away. I would buy on a pullback. So maybe that this level that it just broke above can act as support. But the risk reward setup to the downside is about the same to the upside. Yeah. Uh, I would rather wait and either short it as it got to 125, 130. Because or, it took two right. years to get that at level, never broke above. and uh, We got to you know, go. Jay, I, I don't like technicals, but I thought this was really interesting. All right. Well, it was fun having you. You did a great job. Technicals and the fundamentals. Thanks to Jay Woods. Kelly.